sin is this, according to James. I'm going to turn, take a little left turn here. Can you see this one? It's probably too dark. Sin is to know good and to not do it. That's James 4, 17, to know good and not do it. Now, let me suggest to you that this is absolutely universally inherently true, and yet modern media has made it a lie. And this is why modern media is such a magical death trap for Christianity. To know good and not do it? You watch commercials for all the good you're supposed to do? Give to the children here, help over there, buy this there for everybody else because it'll make life better, and you don't do it. Suddenly, you're, you're sinning by just existing and hearing messages. And these messages are telling you what you ought to do, and your conscience, I don't have to tell you that, that this is happening. Your conscience is like, I feel bad I didn't do this. We got a mailing the other day at the church for a very valuable, valuable thing going on not too far away, actually, probably three hours south of us. And I really like the mission of what this place is doing. The mailing was from Florida, and I, I was at first really upset. I was like, why is someone from Florida asking me to give money to their thing when our church body has ways of hand? Anyway, anyway. But yeah, I learned it was actually, actually nearby. But still, my decision at the end of the day was we have what we see that we need to do here we have what we have chosen to do far away someone is saying here is some good do it james says if i don't i should feel guilty but see james doesn't say that at all that's the lie of the magical modern story wherein you believe that everything that comes across electricity carries the same moral and spiritual weight that everything that came local to, locally to you and comes locally to you does, when it simply does not. Because this is the fact. If you would set about doing good, turn on the internet, I'm going to do good and be charitable today, you will be, <laughs> you'll be bankrupt by, three, by nine in the morning, right? Uh, you will be tired and worn out from trying to make lists. You will have more people calling your phone for more stuff you never thought you asked for. It will pile on like nobody's business. So again, if we're going to talk about what it means to know good and not do it, it has to be a little bit less about feeding the children far away and a little bit more about who are the children right here? Do we have any? Oh, no, we don't. That's dangerous. <laughs> you know, uh, do we have some that we can help? Right? That kind of thing. 